हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छे तुम ताक पढ़े कर क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति वीडियो जरे मु पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकु एटी ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट को तमे क्लिक करी डाउनलोड मध्य करी परबो पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे एटी जो मोर चैनल नेम अछि याकु क्लिक करी तमे एटी प्लेलिस्ट को जाई मु प्रति वीडियोस को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलेबस सो जाई कि रखेतिबी तमे सर्च करी परबो ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज रो टॉपिक रे हमें सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन डिवाइसेस विषय रे पढीबा एक्चुअली दीज आर द डिवाइसेस which are based on the controllable single electron transfer between small conducting metal spheres which are called islands right now in the year 1909 millikan okay you know that millikan oil drop method from which you calculate the charge on an electron okay and the e by m ratio so millikan first illustrated the manipulation of single electron but the single electron devices cannot be implemented in the solid state circuit till the year 1980 okay why so because of the limitation of fabrication process or fabrication techniques okay here the word fabrication means design okay as you know for example before 10 years the design of a computer was very much heavy okay it was taking much space now you can see the computer along with its cpu its screen now it's quite compact okay so the fabrication or the design age now changed or you can say it has been developed right so during the process the fabrication technique was limited okay up to 1980 now in recent years the single electron device have been applied in several important experiments and these are feasible means useful in the technique of unique scientific instrumentation okay for example single electron devices you can have like single electron box then single electron transistor then single electron trap okay now let us see the basic physics of this sed means single electron devices okay in the figure as you can see this is the island okay island as we were discussing these are actually small spheres metal spheres okay so let the net charge of an island in the first figure is zero okay now in this state there is no electrical field beyond the border of this island now if we apply an external force suppose f okay and it will bring a single electron having charge minus e from outside to a point which is close to the island then the electric field will be given by e equal to f by minus e okay and it is produced by the non zero net charge okay so the electric field will be inversely proportional to the square of the island size and hence the electric field will become very strong for nano scale structures because as the electric field is inversely proportional to the square of island size so as this value of r will decrease the value of e will increase okay so in the nano scale structure the electric field will be very strong because the value of r is very low right now charging energy ec is more accurate measurement on this charge effect than the electric field now since the island size is comparable to the de broglie wavelength of the electron island so the energy scale is described by three types of energy number 1 the electron addition energy ea a for addition then the sum of the charging energy ec and 
द क्वांटम काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द एडेड इलेक्ट्रॉन ई के के फॉर काइनेटिक एंड हियर ई सी शुड बी डोमिनेटिंग ई ए इन ऑर्डर टू रिड्यूस द थर्मल फ्लक्चुएशन इम्पैक्ट ऑन ई के ओके नाउ द थर्मली इंड्यूस्ड रैंडम टर्निंग इवेंट्स कैन बी एवॉयडेड वेन द डिजिटल सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन डिवाइस विल ऑपरेट एट रूम टेम्परेचर एंड फॉर दिस इट रिक्वायर्स द ई ए वैल्यू इन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट एंड द मिनिमम फीचर साइज विल बी नियरली इक्वल टू वन नानोमीटर ओके एज यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर द फर्स्ट फिगर हियर द एनर्जी डायग्राम ऑफ द टनल जंक्शन इज गिवन ओके सो हियर द गैप बिटवीन दिस टू दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज अराउंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ओके एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर टनलिंग थ्रू दिस बैरियर ओके सो दिस इज सम काइंड ऑफ योर ऑर्थोडॉक्स थ्योरी ओके ऑर्थोडॉक्स थ्योरी अकॉर्डिंग टू विच द सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज टनलिंग देन इट एक्चुअली रैंडमली टनल्स थ्रू दिस पार्टिकुलर टनलिंग बैरियर विथ अ सर्टन रेट विच इज कॉल्ड गामा ओके दिस इज द रेट ऑफ टनलिंग एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस टनलिंग ओके विच इज शोन इन दिस फिगर नाउ the region for this dependency of this tunneling rate gamma with the electrostatic energy is because the rate gamma is actually proportional to the number of occupied quantum states in the electron source and in the figure 5.4c it shows the graph between the single electron which is tunneling at a rate gamma and the electrostatic energy loss that is delta w okay this is what shown in this figure right so here you can see gamma is the tunneling rate and delta w is the electrostatic energy loss now here capital r is the resistance of the tunneling barrier e is the electron charge in magnitude and kb is the boltzmann constant and t is the absolute temperature so the graph is coming somewhat like this okay and this will be the dotted line is the value theoretical value okay this much del w by e square r okay acha let us proceed further so this was the orthodox theory then come to the single electron box okay so single electron box means it is conceptually the simplest single electron device and the schematic diagram of this single electron box is shown in this figure and it consists of a small island this one okay this is a small island which is separated from a large source electrode okay this is the large source electrode okay by a tunneling barrier okay this one the darken one which the tunneling barrier now we have another electrode known as gate okay which is used to apply an external electric field on the small island right now the electron tunneling effects will occur through the tunnel barrier when the electrochemical potential of the island is changed by the external electric field that is e okay so for this we have to apply a formula for the gibbs free energy w of the system which is given by w equal to q square by 2 c sigma plus c0 qb by c sigma plus a constant okay and here the island charge q is given by q equal to ne minus q e okay and here q e is the external charge which is given by q e equal to v c 0 and here c 0 is the island gate capacitance and c sigma stands for the total capacitance and v is here the applied gate voltage so here the increasing gate voltage will cause more electrons on the island 
Now the graph between the island charge Q and the gate voltage is shown in the figure. Okay, so you can see in this figure the shape is like that of a staircase. Okay, so here the island charge Q, which value is minus N E, is plotted as a function of the gate voltage V. Okay, now the color blue is indicating at vanishing small temperature transition between the states differing in the island charge by a single electron which will be sharp and the color red is indicating at elevated temperatures the steps are thermally broadened okay so this was the single electron box and finally if we see it has some of the disadvantages like number one it cannot store information because the charge which is stored in the island is a function of the applied gate voltage and number two it is difficult to measure the charge state of single electron box because no DC current that is direct current is carried in the box okay then come to the next one which is the single electron transistor okay so it is the simplest single electron device again in which the effort of coulomb blockade can be observed okay so the schematic diagram of a single electron transistor is shown in the figure okay but before that let me tell you what is coulomb blockade okay coulomb blockade means you see when no electron can tunnel through the two tunnel junctions because of the insufficient energy to charge the island okay then this effect will be called as the coulomb blockade okay now let us come back to the figure which is the schematic diagram of the single electron transistor or in short set so it consists of two electrodes which is the source and drain and these are connected through tunnel junction to one common electrode which is the island having a low capacitance right now the electrical potential of the island can be tuned tuned means it can be controlled okay and can be changed by another electrode which is the gate and this gate is capacitively coupled with the island right it is also connected with the voltage source vg g for gate so it is the gate voltage right now after the schematic diagram you can see this is the circuit diagram of the single electron transistor right so this is the junction 1 this is junction 2 right and this is the gate okay Achha. let us proceed further we will have two numbers of cases number one case one let the gate voltage vg is equal to zero now if the bias voltage vb is less than the coulomb blockade which is vc equal to e by c sigma then as i said no electron can tunnel through the two tunnel junctions because there will be insufficient energy to charge the island okay and this effect is called your coulomb blockade okay now if the bias voltage vb is greater than the coulomb blockade vc then current will flow through the circuit and this is what shown in the figure okay so the first figure here for the bias voltage greater than the coulomb blockade the current is flowing similarly on the negative side also okay so now if we calculate the total charge which is contained in the whole island then q will be equal to minus q1 plus q2 plus q0 or simply minus ne plus q0 okay and here q0 is the background charge which is non integer and is resulted from the impurity and e is the charge on an electron okay so this was case 1 then come to the case 2 for which let the gate voltage vg is not equal to zero then the charge in the whole island will be modified by the gate voltage that is vg okay and 
it will be given by q equal to minus n e plus q zero then here the extra term which is c g into v g minus b two and here q one equal to c one v one q two equal to c two v two v b equal to v one plus v two and c sigma which is the sum of the capacitance will be equal to c1 plus c2 plus cg okay and n is equal to n1 minus n2 here n1 is the number of electrons which are tunneled through the first junction and n2 is the number of electrons which are tunneled through the second junction okay so if the gate voltage vg is increased and the bias voltage vb is less than the coulomb blockade then the current will oscillate with a time period of e by cg and these are called your coulomb oscillations which are shown in the figure above okay so this is what known as the coulomb oscillation okay right so here the current i is taken along the y axis and vg is taken along the x axis okay so this is the coulomb oscillation in a single electron transistor or set right so in this single electron transistor actually it can be viewed as a field effect transistor that is fet in which the channel is replaced by two tunnel junctions which are forming a metallic island now come to the last one which is the single electron trap which is an SED that is single electron device having more than two tunnel junctions in the island and it is separated by tunnel barriers okay the single electron trap actually operates like an internal memory and it can store up to two or more bits of information by changing the gate voltage that is VG which is applied on the island of the device okay so the schematic diagram of this single electron trap is shown in this figure as you can see this is the source this is the gate then we have an array of island okay and the first one is the trapping island okay so initially the gate is provided with a sufficiently high gate voltage that is v plus and the electrons are driven into the edge of the island now vg that is the gate voltage is decreased to the initial level and the electrons will be trapped that is why it is called single electron trapped device okay so the electrons are trapped in the island and if the voltage is reduced further then the electrons can be removed from the trap okay so the static characteristics of a single electron trap are shown in the figure okay so this is the figure which is showing the static characteristics here we have taken the voltage v along x axis and n along the y axis okay so this is the positive voltage this is the negative voltage and we have for n equal to 0 it will be the graph like this then for n equal to 1 like this and for n equal to 2 the graph is like this okay so this is all about the single electron devices now this is what i have taken from one book now this is taken from another book where the single electron devices from which it has discussed only about the single electron transistor but these are the same things as we have already discussed but in addition to that it has given its advantages drawbacks as you can see advantages drawbacks and the application of set that is the single electron transistor okay thereafter most importantly the single electron devices okay the applications are there okay number of application like your memory applications with number of points along with these it has the following drawbacks okay then remedies for these drawbacks are also given okay then the second application is the logic application right so you can study it for your knowledge purpose and 
also you can make your note accordingly okay thank you